Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, and today I'm going to bring you an algebra lesson on rational expressions, and in this lesson you will learn how to simplify expressions, combine rational expressions, multiply rational expressions, and of course divide rational expressions. You must know the facts, and what I mean by that is I mean your math facts how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You need to know your math vocabulary. You should know the difference between a sum and a product. Order of operations. You need to know PEMDAS. And you need to know how to work with regular old fractions. The rules are the same. You will need a pencil and some graph paper. And of course, you know me, I like graph paper because it keeps it neat. All right, rational expressions. A rational expression is just an algebraic fraction. It's a fraction with variables in it. Let's start off with simplifying a fraction. Simplify the following rational expression. And we need to remember that you need to factor first if necessary. And in this case, I think we need to factor out the three. And so there we go. Now, Note that we can cancel the threes out, and our answer is x plus 1. Two of the most important tools for simplifying are canceling and factoring. All right, combining rational expressions. Combine the following rational expressions. Remember, top rule in combining fractions. When you add or subtract fraction, you must have a common denominator. So there's x plus 1. And there's 3. And we'll just multiply those two together. There's our common denominator. Whatever you do to the denominator, I must do the numerator. To get 3 times x plus 1, I will need to multiply that denominator by 3. And so I'll do it to the numerator also. And then over here, I need to multiply by x plus 1. And I'll do it to the numerator also. And this is the same as multiplying by 1. So it doesn't change anything. All right, 3 times 1 is 3. x times x is x squared. And x times 1 is x. Let's simplify that. Notice I wrote it in order. That's just good technique. And let's go ahead and do the distributing. All right, multiplying rational expression. Let's take these two and multiply them together. And one of the first things we want to do is always check for common factors and canceling. And you'll note there, there's a common factor in uh, the top. So let's take that 5 out. And we'll get 5 times x plus 1. And then note, we can cross cancel there. And oh, we can cancel out the 3s. So 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 1 is 1. Simplify that and we get 5. It's really just that simple. Now dividing fractions. We're going to take these two rational expressions here and divide them. And remember, the rational expressions are just fractions. So the rule is flip the divisor and multiply. So let's do that. Let's flip the divisor and multiply. Now, um, let's cancel anything out that we can. And 3 times 1 is 3. And 1 times 5 is 5, and there's our answer. Now the key to getting uh, good at these is to practice. So let's do a little recap. Recognize a, a rational expression. We did that. We simplified rational expressions. We then combined rational expressions. We multiplied rational expressions. And of course, we divided rational expressions. All right, as usual, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel.